some new additions. Into the van. I want to test my um, inverter out. I need to get going because it's going to be dark. But I've been so lazy this morning. It's been sharp with this. Um, yeah, let's see if this works. My battery's back up to 82%, which is great. Okay, I'm off to my next destination. Um, that 12 volt isn't working, so I have to double check that. Anyway, well, last night I did parallel park in between um, two vans, and like it was pitch black. I took the risk. And it paid off like it wasn't like the most smoothest in and out because like there's no width on this side so yeah <clears throat> the winds were so crazy strong last night yeah but I'm going to Snowdonia now um, I need a change of scenery and I want to drive in the daylight so I can see where I'm going and I don't I want to hike tomorrow so it gives me a good chance to like rest up tonight, have a good one, and then go for it. Yes, I am so Hi everyone, I am busy cooking myself some ramen, so I have some udon noodles, some fresh fennel. Um, spring onion which I got at, these were all reduced in Asda for like nothing so yeah I'm just gonna put these all together and we can have some Roman I'm so exhausted I have parked um, my GoPro died and I had no memory so unfortunately I didn't plan very well but it took me about three and three and a bit hours to get here um got here just as the sun was going down I'm about like a five minute drive from the walk up so what I'm gonna do is tonight I'm gonna get an early night I am um, parked between mountains there's a little bit of a lake here but I'm gonna I just I don't want to be right by the lake because the flooding um it just seemed a bit too close to surface level so i've parked here and there's another camper van in front of me which is cool a little micro camper so yeah just chilling cooking and i'm so tired so i'm going to eat something relax and then we'll see okay so i've just finished cooking and um i actually love the fact that i've got a seat that i can eat by the table like properly because on the bed I have to keep like bending down for my lower back which sucks so yeah check out my ramen it's quite a bit of soup but yeah just gonna enjoy this I'm not really in the mood to vlog have you noticed <laughs> Good morning. Passed out really nicely last night and I it was like it's always new to adjust to like a new place, I think, always for me. Um but I slept really well. I woke up at when I bed at half past eleven, woke up at like five and then I've been it's drizzling a little bit. I need to get ready. It's about quarter past seven now. I've been heating up the van and then I need to sort some stuff out this morning, but I need to pack my bag, some matcha for my walk, and have some breakfast. So I've got 15 minutes to get done. Oh, it's nothing like cream. It's like I just don't really know where I'm going, to be honest, because I didn't really prepare properly all this it's 
stupidly I was uh, I don't know but I've got my husband maps so I'm fine like I'm, I downloaded maps Good morning. <laughs> okay, so I have started my ascent. Um, it says it should take about four hours. It's currently 8.37. I started my hike at 33. And I should get there by 20 past 12, it says. Um, <clears throat> I think in general it makes a good time. Whereas I can be up, up and down before before sunset well or just after sunset or whatever this is my first time hiking Snowden and I have no idea what to expect but I hope that everything goes good um, I'm divinely guided and protected as my mantra is and yeah there's I paid six pounds for car parking and then my ticket disappeared in my car like in the vent area so I have to pay another six pounds so there you go 12 pound for nature reserve and I don't know if I've chosen the easiest path because <clears throat> yeah I don't know this seems good go with the flow This is the Watkins path I just saw on my map there's a way to cut through there but I just wanted to stick to the path to be honest you know what I mean <laughs> in three more to go going up there where the clouds are hopefully it will clear when I'm good up there best keep moving okay my bag broke floor oh my god I'm so unfit I'm taking those breaks Got two more hours baking super sand now. Hopefully, this mist goes away. My first bit of scramble I went to the other side, but there was like a dead end. I was like, oh my god, I don't want to go all the way back down again. So I went up, see if I could see anything, if there's a drop down. I mean, it's just slate coming all the way up. There's been two guys though. One guy's going up and the one guy came down. So I know it's on the right path. <sniffs> Sorry for my snot. Hike a snot. <sniffs> it's a good day. I'm glad there's no wind. I'm glad I chose today because this would be insane. So yeah. Oh, the sun's just coming. <sighs> it's a beautiful day. I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Okay, so I this map is taking me everywhere, but we like it's actually really difficult this terrain, and I've just slipped on the rocks are icy, so I need to be really careful. But I've just slipped, and I almost thought to myself, should I just abandon ship and go back because fogs coming in like crazy so yeah I don't know how I feel about being here right now um, I'm 604 meters up 
it's 11 o'clock so yeah I'm just gonna take it one step at a time and we'll see how it goes but I definitely should have maybe stuck to the Watkins path I was just following Osman maps but Osman's maps is taking me like I don't know somewhere crazy but hopefully I can just find my way back onto a path now you know what I mean anyway I'm stopping for some fuel and to rest my leg I think I just want this fog to go and then I can carry on I've only got an hour and 45 minutes there so we'll do we'll get there otherwise I'll just abandon ship and go back <sighs> okay I'm having some fuel and then I'm gonna carry on I've got no energy I feel so weak go so one hour so I'm nearly there. It's just gonna take a lot of stopping and starting, you know what I mean? Because it's all happy. I've got another 200 meters to go up. Because I'm at 847 meters. My first peak's coming. 100 meter incline. And the next one is another 100 meter, which is Snowden. That's the goal. Hopefully I'll reach there by two o'clock with all the stopping and starting. So I can make my way down because this in the dark is no good. Okay. I've made it to Clyde Koch. 931. The highest I've climbed. But I'm in bad I'm abandoned my mission to Snowden which is 1085 just because my leg when I fell it's hurting a little bit and this is very very delicate terrain and you can see the fog I don't feel comfortable carrying on and I feel weak most importantly I feel weak like I've had an energy bar I've had a heel but I just feel weak and going uphill every two minutes I have to stop so in terms of that I'm abandoning my mission I feel obviously a little bit disappointed but I also feel like super proud like come on I've got this far by myself but um I just don't feel comfortable doing that like this like I could do it but I won't um and it's very like icy so yeah here we go for some reason I feel so disappointed in myself even though I shouldn't be I'm just being smart you know what I mean it's like even going down here I feel like I've got no energy which is bad really bad and this leg is like shaking Scrambling my way down, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, terrifying, really. But it's okay because at least I've gone up it so I can go down it, you know what I mean? So this guy just said he went, he's gonna go up and he's gonna go down Wacken Way. Well, I could have just carried on my path. So if I just kept on with the walk this morning, I would have made it then back. But it's okay. There's always another day, yeah. Better than seven. Sorry, and literally my leg's shaking. Like my left leg keeps shaking. 
my right leg is like paining so I did the right thing I feel grateful that I'm going down you know what I mean that's what I just came down this would be fine but look at my bag that is so annoying I made two ladies at the top of the bottom and actually well they were really really cool um they were like had a little pep talk with me because I, I don't know I was feeling quite disappointed in myself and then she then they like gave me you know like how that comfort blanket vibes and that's how I felt <laughs> but then when I walked all the way back I was like bloody hell the terrain is unreal and like this is the first bit of scrambling and it's very a full body workout and I think this is like my longest most difficult hike I've ever done and the highest so for instance I've done penny fan but there's not a lot of scrambling really it's only a little bit when you go decent um the routes that I've done then but it's been like quite a good incline so fitness wise I'm fine but this is like because of the terrain is hectic for two hours bro and like the last hour it was just kept on my time wasn't even like for the last half an hour my time didn't change it was just constantly the same and I was like what's going on here like how ooh, how is this not working out for me right now and what sometimes when I stop my right leg it's doing it now you know if you can see that um, my right and left leg starts shaking so I feel like my minerals are down but I've had a yaw so I don't feel like it should be I just think like length wise this would be like a six hour hike and that's also the longest I've hiked so like look it all takes time it's a journey right I'm like I'll definitely come back and then what I'll do is I'll do the Watkins path going up and then maybe do the ridge parts so i feel like i got up to there but look at that just never going away that fog and that for me was the scary thing is me having shaky legs with an injured leg i don't even want to see what's under my leggings because i was too i didn't want my mind to be there you know what i mean i wanted to carry on um and then what else when i was like i don't even look here this path gets worse and worse and i can't even see and it's cold eh? you know what i mean and this backpack i need to buy a backpack that's the first thing i'm doing before i do another hike is getting myself a freaking backpack because my other one was broken and then this one was like my substitute this is what i hiked up with penny fan in the minus five degrees no this is just uncomfortable and it just is annoying to hike with so with all the variables that's it i only made it to the one peak which is good enough for me i was gonna give up as soon as i fell because i was like i don't think i can get up so yeah this was a challenge 2023 challenge I'm too scared to stop because every time I stop my legs start shaking uh -huh. crazy oh I also just drank some um, fountain water filled up out of the bottle it's so good so ice cold it's like it's been in the fridge bro so good and that's all like great water and sliced with the minerals of the with the rocks so yay I do feel super cool now all of a sudden I feel like I've never been so happy oh look at this select I have been more happy yet yeah, get my descent on the go you know it's <laughs> bro who was I kidding who was I kidding? To not come with a plan. 
think I was just completely ignorant and stupid. But hey, that's how I live my life. Go with the flow, eh? And I learn from my mistakes. <laughs> see what's funny this was on the start of my morning if I only had read this hey eh? I would have made it but it's nice enough for the future anyway I made it six and a half hours later